What's up guys? Okay, we are back. As you can see, the reassembly has begun. Um, let me see, where is my, where's my shop light? I wanted to show you. Now this just turned into a, well from a PCV to a bunch of other things. You see these? I'll clean these two. Look at that one. Oh, she is super ugly in there. Super ugly. Just the front too, sorry. Uh, these I cleaned. See how shiny they are in there? All right, it didn't take too long. Look at how gooped up. All right, now, it went from that to, I had an injector come out with one of my fuel rails. So, instead of just putting it back in, I looked at it, and yeah, what? those valves look like is exactly what the ends of that fuel injector look like so i went to the next one and yeah and yeah and yeah and yeah and yeah all the fuel injectors were fucking caked with varnish um soaked them i soaked a couple of them for a few hours and then uh i ran some power through them and then you know some pressurized air to blow out and oh my god i mean yeah they they look nice and shiny and new i could probably pull one out still uh, i didn't wedge them in super tight uh, you see i'm taking it out tiny little wiggles to get it to come up what's stopping it oh my wiring harness dumbass i'm gonna take a looser one all right yeah, see how shiny that is? <laughs> yeah, way shinier than it started out as. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, you can see those two or four valves. There's two in each of those orifices are still varnished. So what I'm going to do, i got to rotate the motor. <clears throat> I'm going to put me a socket around my crank and turn it till I get those to seal to close up and then I'll finish off cleaning those before you know I totally reassemble uh, previous video um, I put my the top speed catted uh, down pipes or test pipes on now's a good time to get to that top bolt again my fat fucking hands or big hands and big forearms whatever everybody loved it when I was younger but in this profession she don't want big hands Big hands stop you from getting in. You want baby burger hands, which I don't have. I've got bear paws. Uh, but again, what it turned into, well, like I said, now you can get to that top bolt. Uh, I can't get it still. I got, I can get to it, barely put a fingertip on it to find it. But like I said, my hands are just too freaking big. Uh, but you'll be able to get to that. And then you'll be able to check out everything else. Remember, take your time. If you didn't, if you don't have a good memory, um, I have a mechanic's memory. All those parts that are laying all over everywhere, I know exactly where they're going to go. Uh, what bolts were where. Remember, your center bolts on your fuel rails, those are going to be the longer of those. Um, and really, just clean everything as you go. Check everything that you can check. Uh, if to get your injectors out, Squirt a little WD down around the sides, let it soak for a few minutes, and then go back and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle. If you could put a, you know, a decent sized set of pliers, not vice grips or uh, channel lock pliers, because they got the that little hoop in them that'll go around all of this other stuff. Um, just give them a little wiggle till you get them out. And if you get one out and it's ugly, all of them are going to be ugly. That's a guarantee. Like I said, you can see now exactly what these valves look like. Uh, these are all nice and shiny. I can't believe how varnished up they were. But, uh, let's see. I used this. I used there's my little kit. And get rid of the razor blade bracket here. I'm not going to need it. I'm going to use zip ties. But these are... Uh, old school tools. These are brushes for carburetors, motorcycle carburetors. Yeah, I also do those or do that too. Uh, so these I just bent it to get behind that valve. 
you can you know scrub it up and down and get down at the base which is pretty hard to get to a um, couple little picks this old tool I don't know I had it laying around but it did come in it came in handy to scoop some of that gunk out rigged up something on my vacuum cleaner to give me some kind of suction on it um, a little pool nice and shiny these things they soaked all freaking night they were i mean caked toothbrush also inside those valve holes i used it for that <clears throat> a little bit of carb this uh this stuff really i used two cans and then not even i didn't use a lot of this on the valves i used this more for the supercharger to clean the inlets and you know all of that but this is what i used for cleaning those uh, valves, let it sit, and it did, it came off relatively easy, uh, I rigged up a little, little suction tube here, you can see, the end of a turkey baster, just taped it on there like a mother, and you can see the orifice is pretty big, and it sucks up quite a bit of the debris without getting clogged, antifreeze, you're going to get that coming out when you take off your, uh, uh, what you call it PCV and have that vacuum ready when you pull that up because there's two ports there and one port on this side uh, for coolant that helps keep that unit cool um, yeah because you're gonna have to vacuum out the whole valley get it nice and dry and clean and then clean as you go as you see that's what I do clean as I go check everything I mean it's like I said, it's a really good time to get inside here, and you know, if you got this far into it, why not just go ahead, you know, re re reroute lines and wires if you want. I mean, now is a good time to really get in here and do a lot of detail and you know, clean it up if you have to clean it up. But check your injectors, check your injector plugs, clean all of those as you go along too. Uh, dielectric grease, clean up your seals uh, everywhere. A little bit of. Uh, petroleum jelly well you want something engine friendly tiny tiny little bit just enough to, to get it lubricated so when you slide everything on it doesn't doesn't kink doesn't roll or anything so sounds like somebody's at my home somebody is all right i gotta go later